Welcome back to the Auto Insider, where you come to find out what's new, what's hot, and what's not in the automotive industry. This week, we're viewing the 2024 Honda Passport. The Passport was introduced to the U.S. market back in the early 90s. I think it was 93 or 94. But it was actually just a label change from the Isuzu Rodeo. Remember that company, Isuzu? Well, back then, Isuzu had already jumped into the SUV market and Honda needed a vehicle that could compete in this new market that the U.S. was really excited about. While that original Passport did pretty well, it never saw the numbers that Honda was looking for and it was later discontinued for about 10 years or so. Isuzu was ahead of the game with SUVs and Honda needed a mid-sized SUV right away to compete in that lane. So they partnered with the Suzu to put the Honda badge and the name Passport on that a mid-sized SUV. When the Passport returned to the market, it was actually designed and built by Honda right here in its Alabama plant. In fact, this Passport made the list of one of the top five most US built vehicles on the road today. Well, let's start with this. For those of you who are fed up with the EVs, the plug-in hybrid electrics, and all of the smooth technology that comes with SUVs, you're in luck because this Passport is every bit an SUV. And this Trail Sport Edition that we're driving is even supposed to be a capable off-road contender. In fact, the suspension on this truck has been beefed up Notice I called it a truck because it really feels like a truck. It feels really capable. Has a beefed up suspension and it has these off-road tires, these general ATs, I think is what they're called, with the side walls that make it a lot more capable off-road in snow, sand, rock, and dirt. Honda says it's just about whatever you can throw at it. The Passport is a two-row SUV. It leaves a three row for the bigger Highland. These two rows though are plenty for the average family. So if you're not looking for extra space for extra people, maybe you consider this Passport in place of its label mate, the Pilot. But don't let the compact nature of this Passport fool you. There's great room in here, headroom, legroom. It's plenty wide enough. And even the center console, Honda has designed it to the point where it don't even accommodate a large tablet. And speaking of being built for a family, you have a wireless phone charger, you have USB-C fast charger, as well as a standard old school USB port here that allows you to connect your phone. I'd recommend more for families who are off-road, spirited, adventurous type families. If you're going camping, fishing, or maybe you guys just have a lake that you go to on a regular basis and you got to do just a little bit of off-road. But Honda says you can really take on some real trails, rocks, mud, snow, you name it. We'll check it out in our rock pit and see how it does there. But many times when we're reviewing SUVs, my initial impression is usually how smooth they are, how quiet they are, how luxurious they are. Not often do we get these SUVs and crossovers these days. When I think about the old school, this Passport gives me a bit of nostalgia. You still got a V6 engine. There's no hybrid technology, no electric motors helping to power it along. It has a nine speed automatic transmission. So none of that CVT stuff with the engine whining and the vehicles feeling like it's underpowered. Also, it feels really connected to the road. These knobby tires give me a lot of feedback and it may be a little bit noisy for some of you, but it actually is appealing to me. It reminds me of what it felt like to drive an SUV when SUVs were introduced to the market. Before engineers and designers tried to make them more car-like. If I wanted a car or a sedan, that's what I'd buy. If you want an SUV, then you want a vehicle that's capable of different terrain. You want to be a sport utility vehicle, a vehicle that you can use off-road as well as in the carpool line. I want to be able to get groceries, but I also want to be able to tow my boat to the lake. Or maybe 
I want to go to a getaway, but I want to get off the beaten path to get there. All those things are on your list, then this passport trail sport edition maybe should be on your list as well. And don't worry parents who are neat freaks and like everything just the way you like it. This interior in here is a synthetic leather. It's a leather wrap. So if you do happen to go to the lake or someplace where the kids get all muddy and dirty, these seats are able to be wiped right down with water, less likely to stain or be damaged like leather or cloth interior. Also, this trail sport comes standard with these rubber mats. So you just take these off, squirt them off, and you're back to like new again. And the designers of this interior must have kids of their own because there are storage compartments everywhere for all types of things. No matter what size item you're carrying along, there's probably a place in this passport to fit it. Like I said, you can put a large tablet here in the center console. You have little shelves here on the top of the door, the middle of the door. You have pockets here at the bottom, extra places for extra cups. You even have cup holders in the doors and in the armrest in the second row. It's fast charges everywhere and there's plenty of room. About the only thing I say that this passport would miss for some families is the panoramic roof. I know a lot of you like all the light to come in and I'd like to have seen a little more light as well, but it wouldn't be enough to keep me from buying one of these passports. And what is an SUV for a family if it's not safe? It's not a family SUV. This passport got to cover with safety as well. You have the lane keep assist. You have the collision avoidance. You have blind spot monitoring. And for this cruise control, you also have the ability to set the distance you want to keep from the vehicle ahead of you and the lane keep assist. And there's even lane tracing capabilities. So when you got to take those long trips like we do, you can actually get a little bit of a break for that long haul. The, the passport will keep you in your lane and it'll keep the distance from the vehicle ahead of you. And if you decide that you're not paying attention, it'll even move you back over when you go to a that dotted line. The Transport Edition has everything that's in the EXL, the Tri-Zone Climate Control, heated seats for both front seat passengers. If you want the air conditioned seats, you have to go up one level to the Black Edition and spend a couple more dollars. I told you, it's a bit of nostalgia in here. Your old cars didn't have air conditioned seats. And Honda did a great job of mixing nostalgia with modern technology, like these folding second row seats. Fold them flat, there's enough room here to get almost anything you need from the big box stores. For those things you carry around on a regular basis, there's even some underfloor storage here to keep those things out of the way. For those little ones in the second row, you have seat back pockets, AC vents, and USB-C fast chargers. Enough cup holders for as many cups on that road trip as they can bring along. For families looking for an SUV that's just as comfortable in the urban jungle as it is out on the trail looking for your favorite fishing hole, this Honda Pilot is one that you may put on your checklist. The Trail Sport Edition seems to be a great choice for us, and it wasn't so bad in our rock pit. Until next time, I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Insider. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us and make sure you don't miss any of our videos as they're released each week.